Hello everyone and welcome back to the forest. Okay guys, update 16, Unity 5 and just look how amazing this game now looks. I mean, I always said it from day one, the game had this kind of charm about it with the graphics that they already had on Unity 4, but now Unity 5's here. Oh my god, it just looks so much more prettier. Okay, so let's take a look around, let's see what we can find. I literally haven't played one solitary second of this game, guys. Since that plane crash, I just walked over to this side of the map just to see if everything was okay for recording for you guys. So let's just venture around. Let's just have fun with this. Let's just take a look around the map to see what's changed. Oh my goodness. My heart is beating so fast right now. What's this? Oh, is that the cave entrance? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, it looks so different. Oh, the water. Wow, look at the water, guys. Okay. If you guys don't know, I mean, if you play a lot of games, then you will. But if you don't know, water is such a hard graphic to try and get right. I mean, in terms of all the things that you kind of muster up into one game, water and, I guess, fire would be very, very difficult to get right. But this is such an improvement on the other one. Oh, my goodness. I'm already so happy with this game. Okay, so let's keep looking. Stop admiring the water, Fooster. Get moving. Show the people what they want to see. I do know as well that they've changed a lot of features about the map, like different elevations and the terrain changes, so I guess I should see that. I don't really know where to look, though, guys, if I'm being honest. I haven't really read all of the patch notes. And by the way, if you do want to check what they have changed, I will leave a link to the patch notes in the video description so you guys can go straight there and check everything the developers have changed. Although I do know... They have changed something with one of the weapons. So I guess I should collect some sticks. Because apparently the bow has now a new sight on it. And I like using the bow. You feel very primal. I mean, you do feel like a hunter when you use those weapons. The axes. I mean, the crafted axe. The bow. I like using them. Oh, I just really can't take my eyes. Look at the trees. There'll be some people in the comments section just like, What is this guy getting so excited for? When I play this game, because it's a lot of where people found my channel, or it's the place where a lot of people found my channel, then I kind of feel this strange attachment to the forest now. And they've made it look so much nicer. I don't know why I can't see the mountain, though. Is that a graphical issue on my game? Okay, let's just keep moving. I know one thing that people do want to know, and that's the settings I use for the graphics card. If you do want to know what graphics card I'm using right now, I mean, it does change every now and again, depending on what game I'm playing, guys. I think I'm using a GTX 770 graphics card, NVIDIA GTX 770 right now. And the settings that I'm using, I'll just show you guys real quick. In case you were wondering, this is what I'm using. I haven't changed anything so far that I know of. So yeah, if you want to know what graphics are, what settings I'm using, that's what I'm running right now. I think I do change though, I have a GTX 970 as well. What is that? Oh my goodness, what? So there's just a huge hole in the ground. Oh, this is, someone actually tweeted me the other day a picture of this. Oh my goodness, what? Okay, guys, I'm already 100% happy with this update. What the hell could that be? Oh, the geese. Oh, my goodness. Guys, you're going to hear that a lot during this episode. I'm just going to go, oh, and all the rest of it, because I'm so happy with the way they've gone with this update. They could have gone a completely different direction and kind of changed things to suit their needs in terms of what a lot of developers for early access games do where they kind of do a couple of changes, make one big update for the game, and then leave the updates for the rest, and then kind of cash in on what they've made so far, if that makes sense. If you guys know where I'm coming from with games like um, The Stomping Land is a prime example. The reason I don't play The Stomping Land, or I haven't played The Stomping Land on the channel, is because I'm not really a, a huge... What's going on? I'm not really a huge fan of what the developers have done with that game. I mean, they kind of... What's going on? Why, they, why is it doing that? I kind of seem to be slowing down when I'm trying to sprint. Have I used all my sprint? No, I haven't. Let me double check something. I want to see this crafting mat as well. Oh, wow. That's so different than the last one. I think it's... Did the last one used to be green? I could have swore it used to be green. Okay, so I'm going to drink a soda can just so my stamina's all the way up again. Two sticks. One rock. I don't have... Oh, my goodness. 
I had so much in my previous play as well. I was so happy with the uh, stockpile that I had. But that's part of the fun of this game. You get to re-experience everything that you love about the forest. Okay, I'm quite interested to see a cannibal. I've heard that once you die from the cannibals now, you get this strange cinematic where you get dragged off into the caves. Why is my game doing that? If there are any uh, technical issues, guys, with the way the graphics are on the forest just yet, just at this moment in time, I can change them for the next episode. So if anything's kind of an eyesore at this moment in time where it's kind of lagging or any issues with the graphics, I will change them out before the next episode. I'm just kind of seeing exactly what the developers have changed and being blown away at the difference from the previous engine. There isn't any cannibals around. Okay. I'm going to go over to this side. I really want to kind of get a feel of everything that has changed. I want to kind of chop down a tree as well. I want, to, I want to see what happens when you chop down a tree. Because, I mean, they're so nice. I don't want to chop them down. Is that Goose Lake? Yeah, it is Goose Lake. Can we pick anything up from here? I think, is that a pot? No, it's just a rock. Okay, we'll get rid of that. I'm going to head over towards Goose Lake. I want to see the animation of the birds. Apparently they have changed the animation of the, the way they interact with your player. So the animals will interact differently now. And there's the geese. Okay, so if I get closer to them, will they... Oh my goodness, this water effect. This genuinely feels like a new game, guys. I'm not kidding. This genuinely feels like a brand new game. And they're not flying away straight away this time. Okay, if I can literally just get my shit together and climb this rock. You can see the geese now. If I get close to them, will they fly away? I know this is something really, really small, but I've never really had a chance to get close to these guys. I mean, I've seen one, the evil demon god goose that kind of interrupted me during the build process. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, and they do fly away. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. This, oh, guys, you have no idea. I mean, I know it might sound like I'm making a meal of it, but I'm genuinely not. When I first experienced the forest for the very first time, and I had the... I kind of plucked the courage up to upload a video to YouTube. I had no idea what I was getting myself in for. Your support for this game alone may means the world to me. I was going to say meant the world to me, but it genuinely does mean the world to me. So I'm guessing only good things can come from this. A brand new update to a game we all love. Okay. I've just realized I can climb this kind of tower thing. And you couldn't climb them before. So maybe they were watchtowers. They possibly still have some kind of something to do with fishing, but... I don't know. Should we just go balls to the wall and jump into the water and see what happens? Okay, not much. We just kind of interrupted a goose swimming. Okay, I'm going to get away from this area right now. In fact, I need the rope that's in that boat over there because I need to make a bow. I want to see what this new sight is on this brand new bow. So, any time now. I don't know. I can't really remember the previous engine. Okay, two pieces of rope. I'm going to have to go back, guys. I'm going to have to go back and watch one of my older videos. I say older videos. My previous video that I just uploaded literally two, three days ago. And have a look at how much the graphics have changed. I know they have definitely changed because I can feel it. It's kind of a strange statement to make. I can feel the graphics have changed. But I'm sure you guys know where I'm coming from. Just everything seems so much brighter, so much warmer. Everything just seems new. And it is. It's because it is new. Okay, so do we have enough to build the, the bow now? No, I don't think we do. Okay, I need to get more sticks. I'm going to chop a tree down as well. Let's take a look at the inside of a tree. I'm sorry if you can hear the clicking, guys. I really am. But at this moment in time, I really need to see what happens when you chop a tree down. If you guys didn't already know, for those who are subscribed to the channel, and don't follow me on... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Oh, the tree's having a spasm. Oh, the logs are different. Okay, so they're kind of rounded now. I like the look of those things. Okay, cool. If you guys don't know and you are subscribed to the channel and you don't follow me on Twitter, I've had the busiest week of my life. I've been looking for a home, a brand new house to live in. And, of course, with a brand new home, I really want to get the perfect place. Somewhere that's not too far away from where my family live at the moment, so it doesn't mean a lot of traveling. I mean, in the UK, we're never really too far away from anywhere at one point anyway, but I mean, I just, I wanted to stay closer to home, you know? So, we're looking for a new home. 
And at the same time, I've been super busy with work. I want to see what the ocean looks like. Now, all that's over now, so this week has finally come to an end. And I did post on Twitter that I am so thankful that this week is now finished. So I can concentrate on recording more videos for you guys, playing more games. And by the way, there will be a brand new game coming to the channel. And hopefully I can make it into a series as well. Oh, wow. Oh, the ocean's actually blue now. It's got this kind of ripple effect. No straight. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go up to one of those watchtowers and have a look into the distance. I like this. Okay, so we'll climb this. I do know a lot of people were a little frustrated with the developers because when I last looked for the um, update for the forest for update 16, they did push it back 24 hours. I guess that was due to a saving bug that they came across when they were very, very close to the release. I don't know why I just jumped off that. I wanted to see into the distance, which was pretty stupid. So we're going to go back on land. I'm going to kind of walk around the coastline to back where my previous home was. But yeah, I do know a lot of people got quite angry with the developers because they took a long time to release this update. I was quite fortunate because I really needed to get to sleep anyway, and then I woke up to the update. So everything was fine by me, but I do know the developers came across quite a few problems when it came to releasing this thing. But when you get something like this... You know why. You know why it takes that long. What's that? Some kind of strange puddle? Maybe that's a bug they'll need to fix. Okay. Alpha is alpha. We always say that, guys. So I'm just going to kind of follow the coastline round. Just to the previous place where I lived. And then, hopefully, I'm going to find a cannibal. So I can see that cinematic where I get dragged off into the caves. I really want to build a bow. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to head into that kind of tree line over there. Build a bow, have a look at this new site that they've added, and then find some cannibals to pick a fight with. Oh, the animals as well. How did I forget that? The animals, especially the deer. If you have played the forest or you've got the game, you'll know that when you chase the deer through the forest, they kind of run it through the trees, and it becomes a pain in the ass when you're trying to kill them to get food. Oh my goodness, look how nice this game looks. I'm so in love with the forest. But yeah, like I was saying, when you're chasing the uh, deer through the forest, they kind of run through the trees, and then you just get stuck like that. Well, now, in update 16, they will apparently systematically avoid the trees. So I'm going to put that to the test as well, if I still have time. Okay, I really don't recognize this area. Is this where I built my previous home? Okay, I think it's because of the changes to the terrain. All right. We're going to go this way. Oh, actually, my character's getting super hungry now. I should have opened the cases. Why did I not open the cases? All right, I'm going to try and kill a rabbit or something. All right, we can do that on the way. So I'm going to follow the coastline round. Hopefully the, um, the tent and the respirator. I haven't checked that yet. There's so much that needs to be done, guys. And I've got so little time to do it because I really want to try and record a few episodes today and a brand new game which I've just said, I want to try and make it into a brand new series as well. I've got two games, aside from the one I'm about to record in mind, but I'm a little bit dubious to record them at the moment, because if I start too many series at one time, it's going to be very difficult with my schedule to try and get them out to you guys. So, But I have got a lot of various games coming to the channel. I know a lot of people have been asking for that, and the tent is now underwater, so maybe that's another bug, but there's the respirator. What else can we get? I'm going to get that off me just for now. There's the pot. That's good. That'll come in handy. What's this? Some booze. Some more booze. Okay, the anchor. That looks actually pretty cool now. It's underwater as well. I love the look of this ocean. Oh, I did hear somewhere, or I think I read somewhere, you can change the colour grading. Oh, you can. So let's try modern. It's a kind of shade of blue. What else can we look at? Washed out. What's that one look like? Oh, it's kind of the, like a faded effect. And warm. I'm guessing this is kind of bright colours. Yeah, this is kind of a warm feel. I don't know why anyone would use this. Unless you're completely tripping balls. Dense. That's kind of nice. I mean, it kind of makes the colours pop. What else have we got? I'm just playing out with the things at the moment, guys, that I can play with. Because the more I know about the update... The bit wow. What's that one called? Epic. That actually looks really nice. In fact, I'm gonna let you guys decide. What would you like? What kind of 
color grading filter would you like me to use? I like the epic one. Blockbuster, that's got a big name. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's very nice. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for changing the different filters because I'm sure you guys don't want to see that all the way through this episode. I'm just going to leave it on this one for now. Oh, wow, look at the shine of the axe. <gasps> I'm so in love with this game. I know I say it all the time, but there's just so much that this game's got going for it. And the developers, they, if they keep going like they are with the updates and they keep showing this game the love it deserves, then I'm sure they will really have a successful game when it comes to releasing the full version. I mean, just look at it, guys. And as far as I know, I may have this wrong. I, I don't know why this just came to me now. I think these guys are indie developers. So just have a look at the talent that some indie developers have come up with. I think it's incredible. I really, really, really rate the developers of this game. And if you haven't checked them out, they are in the description. So go ahead, show them some support. Leave some kind words for them. Okay, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? I'm trying to think of a point where... We could go and maybe have a fight with the cannibals. Do I have enough sticks now? Let's take a few more bushes down. Maybe grab some sticks. And make a bow with. Okay, so one. Oh, I need some cloth. Shit, I need cloth. Okay, so if I head this way... Will there be... This is completely different to how I remember it. I guess that's a good thing because when I'm playing the game, you guys will get to see some different kind of scenery rather than the same old things when I need to... Is that a cannibal? Pretty sure I heard a cannibal. But like I was saying, I guess you guys can see some different scenery now rather than the same old thing every time. Oh, this game just looks so amazing. Oh, I can't get over it, guys. I really can't. Okay, so we'll take that. There's some cloth. What's this? That's a rock. We don't want that. What's the Fooster purple suitcase? It's got to have something good in it. Cloth and a snack bar. That'll come in handy because we are super hungry right now. What else are we going to get? Quite interested to see what the game looks like at night time as well. Now this is probably going to be a longer episode, guys. And I do apologise. I always say that I'll try and keep it to 15 and 20 minutes. I suppose with the new update being released then, I should show a slightly longer episode. So you guys can kind of get a full feel of what the game now looks like. I mean, by no means will you see everything in the update. In this one episode, I'll kind of spread it out over the next few episodes. Just want to give you guys a feel on how the game looks. And we're definitely going to make the bow now because it's getting nighttime. Red cloth. Wow, everything looks so different with this filter on. Okay, so let's. Why have I done that? Okay, so one. Some cloth. No, I didn't want that. One, two. Guys, what the hell am I doing? Okay, so. The rope. The cloth. The bow. There we go. Okay, cool. So, does this thing now have some kind of sight on it? Oh, it does! You can kind of see that little stick. So, I'm guessing that's the sight. So, we should make some arrows. I don't have any feathers. Holy shit, I'm forgetting everything in this game. I'm so obsessed with how the game looks. I'm kind of forgetting the basics. It's very nostalgic for me this episode, guys, because it reminds me of when I first uploaded the forest to the channel. Okay, we're going to take some more cloth, some more snack bars. Okay, we're going to eat a few snack bars as well because I'm super hungry right now and I don't want to die until the episode ends when I show you guys the cannibals dragging me off. I'm going to try and get the bird and take some feathers. I think I need five. Okay, that's good. One more feather. Do I have enough now? Five feathers, cool. Okay, so one stick. One, two, three, four, five. Why did I do that? There we go. And they still haven't fixed that. Does anyone else have that problem? Where you kind of lay the stick down and when it creates into arrows, clicking them back off into this spot? Kind of a pet peeve. Okay, so let's have a look at the bow. And I guess we can have a look at the fire as well. So if we light this thing. Oh, wow. Oh, this game is amazing. Oh, my God. Okay. So let's find a cannibal to pick a fight with. I'm going to go this way because I'm pretty sure if we go this way into the forest and do a left. <gasps> okay, he's dead. Well, he may be dead. As we found out from Jeff and Jeff, they don't always stay dead. 
I've heard that the cannibals do look a lot different now as well, especially the smaller ones. So I really want to see what they look like. Guys, just look at this atmosphere. Oh my god, this game looks so nice now. I mean, it did anyway. Unity 4 engine really did it justice in the way that you felt so secluded. You really did feel on your own in this game. But look at this. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this game. Okay, so I want to kind of travel this direction. I'm pretty sure there was a cannibal camp. This is the area where I wanted to build a base originally and then kind of change my mind. So here's one of the cannibal bases. Or cannibal camps, as I like to call them. Hopefully we'll see one. Anyone home? Some more rope, we'll take that. If I die in this episode, guys, then it's not the biggest deal. I mean, because it is a brand new play. I just thought I'd show you guys exactly what my first impressions were of the brand new update. Rather than trying to concentrate on building a brand new base, going about the business of trying to survive, setting up defenses. I mean, if I do survive, I'll continue to do that anyway, but... I mean, if we do die... It's not the end of the world. At least I'll have some sort of an idea of what to expect with the update now. I just literally... I can't... <gasps> there we go. There we go. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Yep. I know you've seen me. Where is... Where, where's the cannibal that can see me right now? Okay, I'm just going to fire it that way. We'll hit that cannibal. I'm going to light another arrow on fire. What? Where? Okay, so I'm guessing they're trying to protect the high chief or wherever the hell that guy is. He has... What the hell is that? Oh, we got him. Okay, we got him. Now, I do want to let one of the cannibals... Now, somebody did say the last time I did this, when I kind of last played around with an update when I fought the cannibals that I should have at least put up a fight. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. So grab the axe. And where have they gone? I'm going to drink a soda can because I have no stamina at all. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I feel the fear again. The fear is real. Oh my goodness. Wow. You look so different than how I remember you guys. Holy shit. Okay. I didn't put up that much of a fight. But I really do want to see this cinematic right now. <gasps> oh my goodness, that is terrifying. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. I never even thought of that. I mean, I think I briefly mentioned that they should add some sort of way of showing how you got into the cave system. Okay, I do not recognize this cave. Okay, guys, I am completely lost. I have no idea where I've ended up. The caves look so different now. I don't think I've read anywhere that the developers have changed the cave system, but it looks like they have. Because I do not recognize this area at all. What's that noise? That oh my god, I know what that noise is. Did you see that? If I can get closer, I'll show you guys. I know exactly what that noise is. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! Holy shit, no, no! Oh my god, no, you bastards! Oh my god, they've done it again! Oh, goosebumps on the back of my neck, guys. Okay, I think I'm going to end the episode here because I'm going to have a heart attack if I continue playing this game. This is all unexplored areas of the cave system, and I have no idea how to get out. So, we're going to leave the episode here. I'm definitely going to try and check out the doorway and maybe explore a little bit more of the map in the next episode. So, if you are new to the channel, subscribe and keep up to date with everything. Like this episode if you've enjoyed what you've seen. And as always, I will see you later. Oh, <laughs>